Electronics. So in today's video, we are going to see about the tips to crack technical interviews. So when it comes to interviews, technical interviews are the toughest. Most of the aspirants, they actually fail to get through this stage, which is called technical interview, right? So this is the toughest part of most of the uh, selection process. Now, how to crack this, how to uh, overcome this hurdle with some tips. Let us see in today's video. So uh, here we are going to see some tips to crack the technical interviews in an easiest way. Okay. So if you are interested, please do watch this video till the end. Also, if you are seeing the channel for the first time, please do subscribe to the channel. I make contents on career guidance job updates and also exam preparation videos. So if you are interested, please stay connected, subscribe to the channel. So let us move to the details of how to crack the technical interviews. The first thing to take care of when you are going for a technical interview is that you should be having a neat resume. Okay, so your resume should be focusing on the valid skills which you are having and it should not be focusing on the other unwanted details. So your resume should be precise. It should be having only the required information and it should specify only the skills which you are truly aware of. Okay. So uh, when your resume is having a lot of skills which you are not aware of and in the technical rounds, if you are facing the questions from those skills, then you may fall into trouble. So please make sure that in your resume, uh, you should maintain quality content about yourself, your skill, and all the skills which you are aware of, you should be putting in, but don't just give any informations in the skill area, especially which is not true. Okay. So please make sure that the resume content is apt, precise, and it is genuine. Okay. So that is the first thing you should uh, focus more on a neat and precise resume. The second tip is that you should be focusing more on the skill area. So there is one uh, session in the resume which is called skills, which is called technical skills. And the questions in most of the technical rounds, which I have actually heard of, people talk to me about these technical rounds, their experience and all. So they have mostly explained to me or they have mostly uh, shared their experience as the questions were from the technical area. So there is one session which is called technical area in your resume. So the question, the interviewer will take your resume and the interviewer is going to examine the skills area and the questions will be from that area only. So if you are aware of some skills, he'll be testing that whether you are truly aware of that or not. So the skill area, which is a technical skill area, is a most important part when it comes to your resume. So as I've told in the first point, please put only genuine information there, okay? If you are putting some unwanted information or some false information, you may fall into trouble. So that is the second uh, point, which is please give importance to the key skills or technical skills area in your resume. The third point to uh, note down or the third point to remember is that when you're going for some interviews, that is some technical interviews, which is related to the, uh, uh, the programming side, that is if you're applying for some job, which is on the programming side, and if you require some uh, language knowledge for doing that job, when you're going for the technical rounds, be sure that you cover at least the basics of some basic programming languages. Now, when it comes to IT uh, sector nowadays, most of the companies are looking for aspirants who are having uh, knowledge in C, C++, Java and Python. So if you're going for any uh, technical interview, you should be making sure that you should know at least a basics. I'm not uh, talking about you should be having some excellent programming skills or excellent coding skills. You should be at least knowing the basics. How is the syntax? How you are uh, going to write the program actually? So all these things you should be knowing. Otherwise, if the interviewer is going to ask you, just write down a small code snippet for me, then you may fall into trouble. Okay. So the third point to remember is you are going to at least study the basics or the basic structure of these programming languages. You can actually choose uh, one or two languages from this, which is C, C++, Java, Python, because whenever you read the job notifications, most of the companies are looking for aspirants or employees who are having basic knowledge in this area. Okay. So please make sure this thing. Now I'm going to give you a 
tip, an additional tip. If you're interested in studying these uh, coding languages, there is actually a book, uh, there is actually a series of books from a publisher, which is called Cracking the Coding Interview. So I'm going to put this link in description. If you're interested in buying this book, many people has actually reviewed this book and many people is many people are making use of this book to prepare for the technical rounds so if you are also interested you can buy one i'm not telling you to uh, forcefully that buy this book but if it is up to you if you are interested you can buy this book and you can make use of this book to actually crack the technical rounds okay so there is various editions of this book which is called cracking the coding interview okay now another tip i want to share for the electronics branch candidates is that there are various sites uh, which is actually covering electronics topics and MCQ questions. So you can make use of these sites to uh, prepare for your technical rounds. So the sites are there is Sand Foundry, there is Grade Up, there is Exam Radar, Electronics Post, Electronics Hub, Electrical for You, Instrumentationtools.com, then there is India Bix, there is grabstudy.com electrical technology these are the uh, some of the uh, sites which are actually covering mcq questions on electronics subject so if you are going for some technical interview and if you are preparing from these sites it will be very useful for you okay so i'm going to list out these 10 uh, site names in the description if you are interested you can just go through the sites and you can prepare you will get free questions mcq questions for free you can do the uh, questions, you can practice the questions here. Okay, so that is the next step, which is actually cover the basics. Whether you are from electronics branch or from IT or computer science, you have to at least cover the basics, whether it is on programming or some electronic subject before going to the technical interview. Okay, so the fifth tip is that prepare according to the job notification. So you'll be applying for some post. Uh, which uh, is actually present in the company site. So there will be a notification, right? So in that notification, they'll be actually giving what is the requirements, what are the things which they are actually looking in the employees or the, uh, the aspirants. So just read out those details. In that, they'll be actually mentioning some uh, key skills requirement or some basic requirements and all. So if you're going for the uh, technical rounds after cracking the first round, then just read out these things prepare according to this job notification. So in the notification, you will actually get what is the uh, company actually looking for. So the company will be actually looking for some aspirants or some people who are having knowledge in some specific areas, right? So please make sure that you cover the basics of at least those, those areas which is mentioned in the notification, okay? So it is very useful if you truly read that notification and you if you prepare according to the notification okay so that is a fifth tip and the sixth tip is that be ready to say i don't know okay so in the technical rounds there will be various questions the interviewer will be actually uh, trying to examine whether you are truly efficient or not so there will be a lot of questions there will be a lot of difficult questions and all so uh, for uh, some questions you won't be knowing the answer so if you are not knowing any answer please try to say i don't know politely because uh, if you are saying I don't know means the interviewer will understand that you are a genuine person but rather than saying I don't know if you are going to say something uh, else that is which is not a right answer so you are actually trying to pretend that you know everything but there is nobody who is having complete knowledge or not knowing everything okay so you can say for some questions which you don't know you can say that I don't know. You step is that when you're going for the technical rounds, just analyze, think and answer. So the technical round is actually the most mind blowing or mind boggling uh, type of interview, right? So here the interviewer is truly going to ask questions which will actually help him to analyze whether this person is truly intelligent or not. So there will be twisted questions, there will be puzzles, there will be various questions which will actually, which actually will uh, put you in a situation that uh, you will have to really think. Okay, so when you are going for the technical rounds, you don't have to rush, you don't have to hurry to answer. You can analyze the question, 
you can take a moment for thinking and then you need to answer aptly okay so rather than just shooting the answer without properly thinking you can take some time you can analyze the question what is actually the question then you can think of it and you can answer don't take too much time but you can take some time to analyze think and properly answer the question because in technical rounds you cannot really answer very fastly because the questions will be of that manner whichever post you are applying for there will be twisted question there will be some uh, hard questions or some mind you know twisting questions will be there so you can actually take some time to analyze the question what is actually the meaning of this question what the interviewer is trying to ask you can analyze the question you can think of what can be the answer uh, will there be some other options also some possibilities also you can think of all those things and then you have to answer okay so that is the next tip so uh, these are some important things which you have to remember when you are going for a technical interview the other things are very uh, normal which you have to follow when you are going for any other interview not just technical ones okay that is you have to uh, prepare well according to the job the role which you are applying for also you have to maintain a good posture you have to maintain eye contact you have to uh, dress well according to the job requirement and you have to look positive and confident so these are the things which you have to actually keep in mind when you're going for some technical interviews okay so many people are actually facing this technical interviews with a fear so this is actually the stage where most of the aspirants are not able to get through so if you follow these tips you can actually make this technical interviews more easy and you can feel more confident okay so uh, that's all for today's video a lot of people was actually asking me to do a video on cracking the interviews so i thought why not technical interviews okay so why not i make a video on how to crack technical interviews because that is actually the hardest part right so if you found the video useful please make sure that give it a thumbs up also share the video with your friends and please do subscribe to the channel a lot of people are still watching the channel without subscribing to it it's absolutely free you can get job notifications here career guidance and also exam preparation and subject videos okay so please do subscribe thanks for watching and keep on watching